Hi guys, welcome to Boxing Blocks and at the home of Nigerian African Boxing. Please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now. Israel Desoya, aka the last time bender, successfully de uh, defeated uh, Venturi, maybe Venturi from Italy. Uh, in a very interesting, intriguing fight. I mean, my heart was something else, you know. Uh, he, oh boy, me self, I be don't go. <laughs> my last time, my body tell me, my spirit leave me. Go as we because it was really crazy, man. I was so nervous, but thankfully, Adesanya uh got the win. And according to our brothers. You know, uh, the uh, Diwali's of the world, he said it was a one-sided beat, beat down by Adesoya. You know, um, Adewale, your sincere take on that fight and uh, what do you see for our brothers, Adesoya? Man, thank you for having me, man. And salute to the brothers on the panel. I, I wouldn't call it a total one-sided beatdown but it was a one-sided fight where some rounds were slightly closer than the others but then israel won every single round in my opinion even the rounds that um vettori is that his name <laughs> was able to take israel down israel was able to reverse those takedowns and i feel like israel has come a long way in terms of improvement um he's improved on his defense when being taken down and he was able to showcase those skill sets in this fight i feel like israel like he said he's the king of the middleweight division until proven otherwise and i salute him i congratulate him the fight was interesting if you are a diehard israel at this on your fan you would have been scared in a lot of in a, in a huge portion of the fight but eventually as the fight progressed towards the fourth round fifth round israel showed confidence he was showboating he was he was looking good in the fight so yeah congratulations to israel thanks brother appreciate it ibrahim yes sir your take on the win the win of our brother yeah man excited happy onwards and upwards it's as expected it's a it's a, it's a tick box exercise but like like i know said you know when you're a fan of someone you know until that final bell rings especially when it's going to to points until that final bell ring even if you can see they're winning every round until that bell rings you can get knocked out especially when you're fighting the puncher like like um Vittori. so um yeah, I can imagine it was nerve wracking, but um, yeah, it is a, for me, it's a tick box exercise. Like, like Israel was saying to the guy, you know, during the press, who have you fought? Like, you, you, you just got given this opportunity, but have some respect, bro. Shut your fucking mouth. Do you know what I mean? Who have you fought? There's levels to this, and you're not on that level, and I'm going to show you in the ring. And, you know, it sounds like you showed him in the ring. You know, every single round, 50, 45. That means every single judge, three judges, said Israel won every single round. So there can be no mistakes. No mistakes as to, you know, I mean, what the result or the outcome of that fight is. Because that's what Marvel was holding on to from three years ago, going, ah, oh, I won that. Like, bro, like, have you actually seen the fight? Like, are you okay? Just you know saying. But after this one, there can be no, this is undisputed yeah i know it's ufc but this is undisputed no mistakes have been made so um yeah no, i'm happy for him man you can just move on and it's like reannouncing himself back to the middle it's like listen you little chicken heads like the king is back in it like everyone get back in the box the king is back you know you don't want this smoke just behave like robert whittaker and stay in your lane that's it so yeah i'm happy man Thanks, brother. I do appreciate it. Tell Jack, boy. Yeah, congratulations to Izzy, man. Um, he did it. I think he, I think he had fun in that fight. Um, 
because at some point he uh, it looked like he said he was just stuffing um Vittori's takedowns and Vittori was just using that time to to rest so we didn't do much you know Vittori has a, has a strong will unfortunately Israel's experience kicked in and Vittori's experience did not really take him far just because of lack of opponents hey man you believe you have to believe in yourself and you have to you have to go for it and he could he wasn't able to do it you could tell fatigue kicked in and all sorts of things you could just tell izzy was just more of the guy who had the experience you can absolutely tell you know so it was it was it was a good performance from izzy at the same time they're gonna he better prepare himself because i'm telling you man they're gonna start coming out the out the woods and start challenging him, start taking him down, this and that. But you know what? Every takedown he gets up from only gets him that much better. That's what I believe. So um come next come next fight, Whitaker. It's funny because he's peep the people that are supposed to be calling him out, Israel's the one calling them out. And it's just amazing to me. But let's see let's see what he's up next, man. Let's see if he wants to, if he decides to go back up again. <laughs> Much credit to his man if he decides to go back up, and still he he still dominates his weight class. He I think he just wants to be great, man. Congrats to him. Yes, guys, you heard it from our brother Swa uh, Diwali Ibrahim and uh, Jack Bay. Stay tuned for more exclusive bangers. Uh, yeah, Adesanya remains the king of the middleweight division. And that crown is going to be his for a very long time. Once he polishes um, his antique takedown tactics. Can't wait, guys. Stay tuned. <laughs>